Good morning, everybody. The pedal pushing preacher coming to you. Quick upgrade here on the bicycle. This is in my 2013 Giant Ravel O 29er. It used to be a mountain bike. I uh, named it Black Betty after the old song where they always say, Whoa, Black Betty, wham ba bam. Well, wham ba bam is the name, the sound I made when I fell off of it, so this is what I named the bicycle. Um, getting to be an old man. And the bones can't handle the continuous beating of mountain biking. So I've upgraded this here. And I've turned it into a little touring bicycle. Uh, just giving you all some ideas. I've heard some people's went with uh, drop-down handlebars on them, butterfly handlebars, and we'll keep the old ones. Just went with a mountaintop mirror here. Where I can see behind me, I like that. I'm going to use this here to secure the wheels as I drive along. Uh, probably the biggest upgrades I've made, of course, is the Brooks saddle. Highly recommend that to anybody. I uh, got these from my local bike shop in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Uh, the Infendero 27. Now this is a 29 inch wheel. Um, but it's, it's in dirt. These are called cross country bikes. And, and uh, this was a, a big upgrade. Handles a lot more weight. Uh, great, great wheel. I absolutely love it. They, they're a little pricey, but uh, I really like it. Still running the egg beaters. <clears throat> Uh, the problem I had right here, and some people's run across this with these uh, O29ers, is this a water bottle cage. And I actually had to buy a cheap one to put on there because it's so offset and it's so close together there. You can see that, but uh, it come together very well. Uh, give me some comments. You know, I'm a, you know, I don't do the cross country thing yet. I have this thing called a job. Jobs actually it keeps me kind of busy. And uh, but you know, sometimes it will go out for. A day or two or you know three or four days on it I've, I've ridden this up as much as uh, 70 miles a day and it, it does fine it does fine um, it's a little short for a touring bike lengthwise uh, got this right here I got a little trailer set up here I pull the granddaughter behind I like it because of the gearing it's a it's a nine speed back there all the other Ravels they started making later on in the year they went to an eight speed because a giant and track and Cannondale and Specialized, you know how they all get. They try to keep up with one another and uh, got this price, this bike pretty cheap because they had stopped making it just almost uh, immediately after production because they went to the, the an 8-speed instead of a 9-speed and it's got, a, it's got a little bit better fork on the front. It's got the lockout. Uh, it's a little bit better. It's not a great one by no means, but it does all right for what it's for. It gets me around to wherever I go. It's a, I call it a tractor because everywhere you go, you definitely plow, but it's been a good bike. It's a little dirty now, but uh um, you know, if, if you, it, it's not about, uh, looking cool and all that. That's what I like about cycling. It's about how you want your bike set up for you. And, uh, I, this, I've got this set up and, uh, don't let anybody tell you that you, you can't ride this with that and that you, you get what you like and, and go on with it. Use a lot of great places to get this stuff right here. I think I got the saddle from a uh, Nash bar. That's, that's this little, uh, touring flyer saddle. That's what they call that with the springs on the back right there. Very comfortable first week you own it you just absolutely want to die but after that it really really comes in i've got you know a cheap component here and there i've got a really good speedo on it but uh it's been a good bike i really like black betty so uh, uh <clears throat> happy pedaling